Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading and I hope that you're doing extremely good today as we pull some cards from the tarot. Um, we are connecting with your spirit team, my spirit team and our angels and ancestors to get messages for the sign, the collective of sun, moon, rising. Aquarius, I'm just being guided to say that, or even Aquarius North Node, I rarely say that, so there's obviously somebody that's going to be watching who has a North Node that's an Aquarius, so this is for you all. Okay, Aquarius. Let's just get the first card and we'll see from there what kind of spread we're gonna, gonna do. And that really actually made a point to flip around. I don't know if you noticed that, but like it 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 like ricocheted off of my um nail and flipped back upright. So this is gonna be a Celtic cross then. Um the three of coins is about something that gets going in the right direction because people or energies um, in the material are able to get things done together and actually see results, you know, see things materialized, um, laying like the groundwork. <clears throat> so I feel like a situation that was hard to turn around or that maybe you even doubted you could turn around is getting turned around. That's what I'm getting with that. And that's the little cherubim angel too, helping with your, it was my mom, so helping with your reading, Aquarius. What is the challenge? Did I say this was uncom uncommon tarot? It is. It's uncommon tarot, and I'm saying that because I'm not sure if it's even listed as something for me to tag so death card that's a pretty common energy to have as a challenge um most people look at the death card as like phew, sorry a um a transition a transition or you know just not really looking at it as like um an ending more so of transitioning or going from one place to the other. So Scorpio energy, it's usually something's trying to transform and it probably has to do with cooperation from everybody involved or all involved. What's the heart of the matter? Queen of Wands in the reverse. At the heart of the matter that this could be a, an energy of really not wanting to take much of a of a risk um i don't know so i don't know if that would be you or somebody else um you know their heart of the matter like um or this is something you that your heart isn't wanting to take a risk on or isn't wanting to get burned hmm doesn't want to risk something so there could be some like intimidation or shyness past energy queen of cups queen of cups is the past energy and that has to do with really really taking i don't know if you can see this but um it's taking really good care of yourself. Um, it's the archetype that is compassionate. It's the archetype that knows how to heal themselves first and then they can heal others. Maybe even psychic tapping into your intuitive gifts is like not a problem with the Queen of Cups. It can represent somebody who's really good at, at listening to, um, it might even be part of their job to, um, critically listen if that's a term <laughs> but um taking really good care of oneself 
on, I feel like on a holistic level. So like mind, body, soul, um, just as all the systems, the organ systems in the body work together. Um, so do those little components that make us what we are, mind, body, soul too. <clears throat> have a problem with one, usually end up having a problem with all. This is very similar to what child chakras are or a chakra system. This is your goals or your destiny. The crowning energy, the six of swords and the five of coins in the reverse. Best way ever to see this card is like that because it means that it is in your destiny to emerge from a situation that was really tough or difficult to get through. Um, emerged not only triumphant and successful, but um, knowing that you're on the right path. Um, so it's your goal and your destiny to move out of hard, difficult times and into better times. I love these cards. They're so pretty. This can be um, your destiny is uh, having something to do with Making others feel warm and, and um, welcomed. Um, in your destiny to not worry quite as much. What's the future energy looking like? Got two for this future energy. I like this. And then, then there's that. So Scorpio is Scorpio. But this is good the way that it is. Both of them are really good. The Nine of Swords in the reverse with the Devil in the reverse. I, I feel like it has to be talking about how uh, we lead ourselves into more fear when that is what we ruminate about or obsessively go over and over about the things that we can't do or worry for uh, with worry without focusing on a solution. This is focusing on the solution of not letting your fears um, attach to you in that sense and just thinking of um, positive, positive frames of mind. The devil in reverse can also mean that part of this solution was to detach from uh, material things that can be addictive um, or over overdone in excess um, it's handling your demons that is the that is the answer here is is handling your demons beating your demons handling your demons chariot king of swords in the reverse <clears throat> All right, so how does Aquarius feel? How does Aquarius feel? Hmm. Competitive, upset. Upset, maybe competitive, maybe wanting to win something. Um, you could be feeling feisty or kind of like a frustrated energy. So you could be feeling kind of distracted or pulled in different directions in a sense. You have to navigate distractions. Uh, that would be something that you would have to do. Um, you have the nine of wands in the reverse on the bottom of the deck too. So this is saying with this, that part of this is um, for you to navigate distractions and not give energy to the things or people, places, or situations that are not good for you. So this could be competitive, but maybe in a healthy way. Tell me about in the environment. Feels like it's being very specific, doesn't it? Um, Six of Swords. This is you going towards, um, like I, I, this one tried to come out earlier, right? So it was about emerging from like a difficult uh, situation on the other side. Um, listening to your own intuition to get yourself out of um, 
either a financial hardship or some kind of worry, whatever it is, you're successful in coming out of that. This can be actually traveling to a physical location that is better because your intuition telling you to. What is the hope or fear? What's the hope or fear? Oh, I have that. Hope or fear. It has to do with your connections, your soulmate connections. It has to do with work um, and something being successful, uh, something that uh -oh, is working out. Um, and this could be about the journey, but also just the importance of these connections, really to rain down light in your life, to be a support, a help. So it can be a hope and a fear that everything goes really well. Um, a fear of parting ways, possibly, if that is relating. But remember to have the thoughts focused on the positive things. Tell me about the outcome. And I do offer private readings. I will have a website soon. But um, if you need a private reading, just email me in the description box below. Is that information on how to get that? Oh, wow. Another five. You could be feeling this energy, too. You know, of course, I think it goes right here. So we have Ascension, five to the six. Um, five of Swords two of coins upright and the two of swords in the reverse something come in and something going one come in something going there is conflict because there is um simply something that has to be decided upon and it's not going to be decided upon without some sort of fight or um drama in a sense there's unavoidable decisions there's things that you can no longer postpone but more than anything the twos and all your fives five 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 so you have um the energy of, of major change and something changing really quick um and then you're gonna have lots of choices lots of options i don't know why the two of swords is in the reverse let's let's find out maybe it's hard to weigh out your choices or something tell me why the two of swords is in the reverse five of pentacle in the reverse that's good that's good and this card by the way this it's the only one that is burnt from the candle so sorry about that um so five of pentacle in the reverse same as this so now you have another five four fives um it is unavoidable. Uh, there's decisions that have to be done, um, really, because something is getting better. Um, making a decision, not wanting to be alone at this time, or something like that. You'll be busy with the two of coins, and this might have something to do that you're juggling on the material realm. The idea is to just not get too, too attached to the material stuff. Um, what are these choices? Two of coins. Another six of swords. And the ace of cups in the reverse. The choice is to give yourself the best love possible. So cooperation and letting go of toxic attachments or relationships. Um, emerging on a calmer side. So your choices and decisions will lead you away from something. And it's the influence you're feeling right now. All right, so what about these fighting cards or how Aquarius feels? Five of Wands and Five of Swords. What are these two about? The devil. Um. Yeah, what I'm, I don't even like saying that, um, but I guess the energy that I'm kind of picking up on is um, people saying not so nice things, um, ugly things, things that may hurt. Um, I don't really know why, but, but trying to um, start drama of some sort, um, there may be an attachment to some kind of drama 
Or like I said, somebody might have an issue or a problem where they're fighting off an addiction. It might be talking about materialism. Maybe it's saying to have a different strategy or more of a strategy. You have a heavy influence from Capricorn in your reading. Mm. Leo, Aries. And I, I think Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, too. Hmm. And Scorpio, of course. All right. So there is some kind of celebration. I feel like this is saying, you know, just be aware that there is some kind of toxic energies that might try to pull you into a situation that you don't want to be in or pull you into a drama that you don't really want. So it's kind of like just saying I'm not participating and not letting your fears get the best of you. How um, how can we deal with this Queen of Wands energy in the reverse? Which, like I said, is kind of different. It's maybe even a little timid. Okay, so the heart is ready to start over with something here and it like needs to be completely ready so that the heart has just walked away from something that was the ultimate betrayal 10 of swords it was the it was it something that has to die completely to be resurrected and that's why this energy is like i'm not gonna just jump in without thinking because of what you have put behind you in the past because it was so um strong potent intense yeah oh three of pentacle two on their bottom hmm getting more um doing more research getting more research where is um aquarius going to with the six of swords where are they going um, magician in the reverse with the Hierophant upright. This could be feeling less than inspired about a commitment. I mean, maybe even feeling like, like something's not working anymore in, in, in a, a commitment. I don't know who's or whatever, what it's talking about, but feeling not so motivated and like I say, it could be a soul contract. One, um, a soul contract that opens and then one that closes. Uh, the reason I'm saying that too is the four of wands is in the reverse on the bottom. And that to me is making really big moves and maybe even changing who your pledge to allegiance is. All right, so what is the fear or the hope here with this Eight of Coins, Six of Cups? What is this about? Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is um, a message about taking uh, that cup and making sure that you are full first. Also, um, a focus on your health and your ability to receive, maybe even a focus on listening skills putting things in the past, such as a, any, any kind of decisions that end up being toxic to your body. It also could be a hope that somebody takes better care of themselves um, because of feeling like they're, maybe their persona is emotionally manipulative or maybe that is what we're fearing. All right, what about transformation, change, transformation with the challenge? There it is. So it's the same, giving yourself the cup, ace of cups in the reverse. You give yourself the cup until you're ready, loving yourself first, the way that you would like to be loved. And the empress energy on the bottom of the deck. So that's what I've got for you guys. Um, sending much love and light. Thanks for joining me, Aquarius. If you want private reading, like I said, right now, you'll just have to email me, and that's in the description box below. But um, until next time, sending you love and light. Bye-bye.